we're going to be focusing on passing. I, I chase, or I don't chase boys, I pass them, right? I don't like the thread the needle pass, but it's not my job to like things and teach you things I like. It's my job to know things and teach you how to do them, right? Uh, if we have time at the end of class, I will show you why I don't like the thread the needle pass. Um, oh yeah, also this is my very first class, so I'm a little nervous, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Um, all right, so the thread the needle pass. Grips, right? Unpopular opinion, I don't like them. I don't think they're a huge asset for me. Why? Because I'm an MMA fighter, yeah? So if I'm committed to you in the grips, you're committed to me, right? So unpopular opinion, don't shoot me for it. So I don't use the grips a lot. I don't value them. They are a gift and a curse, right? All in one. So. I'm going to be using the knees. I'm gonna be splitting, yeah? And I'm going to step to the side, commit. We're doing the thread the needle pass. So I'm going to weave in through, yeah? Here, my hand is a fist when I pass. Here, right? He's got big old thick, thick thighs. So I need to be um, hard and I need to be fast. I'm going to find the post, take it out, slide through, yeah? I am a small girl. I have to use every inch of my body to pressure in and uh, <laughs> pressure in and keep them down. You all right? What am I doing? I have to drive down. <laughs> so I'm here. I'm going to be passing, yeah? I'm going to find split, all right? This is what he wants to do. I'm going to weave through, take out the post. Slide. Yeah? Everyone got it? I love classes and I love clapping, so we're gonna be clapping. Yeah? Three, two, one. Good! Most of you have the idea of this, so um, again, I don't think I specified this, but the first thing you want to do is split the legs, right? So you split the legs. Split the legs, then you come through. So um, you guys got that? It's cool. Uh, there's a couple of questions on whether you want to get the hand or the head. For those of you that already know this pass, some of you grab the head. I, that's one of the reasons I don't like this pass. I play a lot of D-pass, so if I'm on bottom, I will just go underneath and sweep you, right? But uh, that's preference. You know, I teach you uh, ideas, concepts, um, motor pathways. It's your job to fit it to your body, right? Because I am not him, right? There's a lot of physiological differences and uh, a lot of attitude differences also. <laughs> so um, what works for me may not work for him. What works for him may not work for me. Um, so, the move, yeah, sorry, thanks for keeping me on track. All right, so I come here, I step over to the side. He attended Ryan's class yesterday, right? So instead of me attempting to, uh, or my attempt to come through, right? What, what does he do? He posts on my shoulder, right? Now he's blocking it, right? Some, especially me, I was very guilty of this when I was a white belt. I would still try to force this, right? Be like, fuck this guy, I'm gonna break his arm, and come through, all right? And in my sport, in MMA, I could just punch him and still pass. But this isn't MMA, so we're not gonna go down that path, right? Instead, because he attended Ryan's class and he's uh, properly defending this, I'm going to go back to the knees. Oh my God, we have two fucking sides, right? <laughs> I just grabbed onto the knees, right? I didn't commit with my thumbs, I just went little, what is this, sloth. And I moved over to the side. What am I gonna do? From here, I'm going to pressure in, and I'm gonna knee slide through. This arm is gonna do the same thing, post here, and come over. Ba -ba -da -ba. I'm on the other side, yeah? I'm saying yeah, that's a new thing, and he's very offended by it. So. <laughs> We're here, we're gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna split, come to the side. He's gonna be a good training partner and he's gonna defend. So I'm gonna go back on the knees. 
Look, remember when we did the Tabata? I just shift it over on my toes, yeah? Shift it over to the side, coming through. Ah, oh, yes, the underhook, sorry. I'm gonna go underhook, slide. Uh, I told you the fist, ah, oh, my God. I'm tired, it's early. So I underhooked, underhook to prevent him from taking my back. I slide through, I come over. One more time or you guys got it? I know because I did it two different ways, that's why. Sorry guys. All right, we're going. Split, coming through, he blocks. Oh no, oh shit. Here, right? I'm gonna go underhook. That's what it was. Push down on the knee, I slide through. <sighs> right, magic. Yeah? Yeah. You guys got it? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> oh, God bless. All right, uh, got it. Three, two, one. So I'm going to go over a couple of things that I saw that were universally an issue. So that's part, that's probably my fault because I didn't address that. Um, when you've been doing this for, I don't know, 10 plus years, you just kind of forget the small things, right? So we split, we come through, he's blocking. So my hands, instead of being committed to this thread the needle, right? Because I have commitment issues, sorry husband. I'm going to go back to the knees. Yeah? Back to the knees, and I'm gonna to the other side. Yeah? That's where I switch my hand position, go for the underhook, and when I slide, I'm gonna show you my dick. Yeah? Look at that. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this has a lot more control. If he tries to roll me, he's a lot stronger than I am, I guarantee it. He can try to roll me, and it's not gonna happen. Yeah? Nope. <laughs> You're not even going to try. Ah, I got him. So, um, I think that addresses some of the issues. When you baseball slide through uh, or you're, you're posing, make sure to show your dick or show your, your title belt, whatever uh, helps you remember that. Don't commit, right? I have commitment issues, so I'm not going to commit to one thing. I'm going to go back and I'm going to slide through. If it's not serving me, this is a life lesson. If it's not serving you, abandon and go to something else. Yeah? Um, any questions? Any, th any issues? Yes, sir. Uh, what, if he doesn't what, if, what if he doesn't get the underhook? Yeah. For, for the actual pass? You don't get the oh, I don't get the underhook. So, I don't get the underhook, and he starts, I don't get the underhook? Like here? Yeah? So he starts passing, or... Here, I can go reach over to the head because the body will follow the head. So if he tries to take my back or anything, I can try to mitigate that. But you really want to go for the underhook if you can. Um, let's see. We're here. Yeah. Go for the head. What? Do, do what with the head? Do what the head? Yeah. I don't know. Stuff it. Make it hurt. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, I will not be teaching any submissions. Submissions are sexy, right? Um, submissions are easy. You make things go out, right? It's passing, right? You uh, position before submission, right? Uh, all right, so there are, let me, let me back up. So there are rules to jujitsu that are not, you learn them just to break them, yeah? All right? So everyone says like, Focus on your grips. Get your grips, right? Well, I don't give a shit about grips. Um, anyone ever been convicted of a crime? Don't answer that. Why? Because then you've admitted to it, right? So you uh, you learn the rules just to break them, right? You learn the laws. That sounded a lot better in my head. I was practicing that, and it just didn't come out well. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yes. Yeah, so if you don't grab the underhook, attack the head. The head will follow the body. If your head is stuffed on the mat, it's not going to come after you, yeah? I am saying yeah a lot. Let's move. Oh, okay, cool. So, we're here. He blocked. Oh, no, we're here. And what, what is he going to do? He's going to go back in and try to recover guard. Oh, no, the butterfly. <gasps> All right, this is a, a fun move. <laughs> it's kind of an asshole move, too. What am I going to do? I'm going to collect the knees, right? We're going to go back to the knees. We're going to collapse. 
Come on, talk. <laughs> it's really that simple. Actually, someone hit that on me the very first day. Where is he? And I'm a black belt, so it's, it's completely, it was, it was funny, right? We're just going to go through that. Very simple. Here, he's going to block. Here, he's going to come back into butterfly, collect, come in. <laughs> that is one approach. Then we're going to do our other approach. Lead, yeah, you lead, again, lead with the dick. <laughs> Let's do that very briefly because I addressed some of the issues uh, beforehand. This is a very simple one, so you can add that on top of it. And then we're going to do our, uh, our sexy movement, which most of you might get a concussion from. Uh, he hates it. <laughs> I love doing it, but I'm also a lot lighter and smaller and nimbler. Nimbler? Uh, nimbly. Nimbly bimbly. Um, yes, collapse the knees from the butterfly and come on top. Yeah? Three, two, one! Most of you have the concept of that, right? Collapsing, going through. Um, you're going to get that maybe once around, once a roll, once a month, uh, once ever. And people are going to wisen up to it, yeah? So we're going to go to a different approach. And please, I cannot overemphasize this enough. Please do, do this very, very slow, all right? Otherwise, cool. everyone's gonna get teeth knocked out and I don't, I don't want that to happen. I like doing this, he doesn't like doing this. If done properly, <laughs> it can be very useful. Um, I hit this, uh, this pass from standing, but we're gonna start from seated so we can go through the steps. So, we're gonna go through our entire series. Here, didn't work out. Here, right? He goes back in, I'm gonna collapse and sit, right? My partner is gonna be a good dummy. He's gonna lay back, so that way I don't have to hit him, all right? I'm gonna push the knees off to one side, all right? That leg is now, now has space to move. So I'm gonna go here, put your head back. I'm gonna come up on top, yeah? You see why I put his head back? Because otherwise I'm gonna knock him out. In my sport, that's absolutely fine. In jujitsu, I'm an asshole. <laughs> I don't want to be an, an asshole because I'm already sleeping on the floor. There's not much else I can go to, right? He's just going to kick me out if I uh, hit him. <laughs> so, can't sleep on the couch, right? Side, side, comes inside. <laughs> that's what she said. And, um, <laughs> go. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> He's going to be leaning back. I'm going to push the knees to the side. My hip is going to go on his hip. Yeah? Here. Here. From standing, that's here. All right? Be sure not to kick them in the face. I can't say that enough. We already sent someone to the hospital, didn't we? I don't want to be number two. <laughs> So, collapse, down, right? He has butterfly hooks. He's gonna be laying back. Don't, don't tuck on my butt, not in public. <laughs> He's gonna push off to the side, all right? I'm gonna come on the hip, go to side control. Yeah, you guys got it? Can I trust you? <laughs> this is also okay for a smaller person. Who's my smallest person here? Might be very close. Yeah? Very close. I don't know. Maybe close. On your back, please. All right? She's smaller than I am. I'm not going to hurt her. I'm here, right? Does that hurt? No. Absolutely not. Because I am on her hip bone, on her pelvis, unless she's, you know, 92 and has bad hips. You know, I'm not going to hurt her. Yeah? Let me see you. On your back. Collapse, here, push to the side. I'm gonna be on her hip, here. Oh, you're so tiny. So nice. <laughs> okay, so it can be applicable, it can be universally used, just make sure you don't hit each other. Cool? Cool. Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you.
for you today. We're just going to do a brief recap on everything that we learned as far as passing. Yeah? So, we did the thread the needle pass. He defended. We're going to go back to the knees, go over to the side. He defended, come in, collapse, come down, push over to the side, come around. Each pass can be broken down and can be successful on its own, right? But this is just a small little series that I like. I use it a lot. I use it often. Um, I also fail a lot, right? Because people learn how I roll. Uh, so I'm able to change between them. Um, any questions on anything? Can you tell us the scenario on the last pass when you try to slide over? Is there any common situations that he's going to put you into? That he's going to put me into as far as... Uh, like how do you go with recovery or late stages of this pass? What are the likely scenarios or even one? Late stages of this pass. Alright, so uh, when I'm throwing my leg over, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, especially him, he likes to post in my armpit and push me off. So I'll be here, he'll come in, and I just come off to the side. If anything, this just reestablishes uh, an opening, a scramble, so I can go back and do a different position. He won't take my back from it, because when I come through, I'm right, just pushing. I'm off on the side. Okay. Yeah. Um, there was also another person that uh, mentioned what if they catch my leg in the transition from here, right? So catches my leg. I can just come up. <laughs> right? I can just come up. It's also, most people won't try that. Um, I haven't come across that yet. Either that or I kicked him. I'm not sure. <laughs> I get hit in the head for fun, so I, I forget things a lot, so I, I apologize. But um, if we roll, do that to me, and we'll figure it out. Right? I don't know all the answers, but I'll definitely sit and uh, workshop things. Is there anything else? Okay, cool. So we have... That is the end. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much. You uh, could have been anywhere. You could have been sleeping, but you chose to be here. And I am super, super grateful that you did. I hope you learned at least one thing today. Uh, this is my first instructional at uh, BJJ Globetrotters, so <laughs> it was a lot. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your open-mindedness. Uh